Hey everyone, this is Ken and today we're back with another tutorial on a 29 block long piston bridge. Now what's cool about this is the fact that it's only 6 blocks wide and when it closes, trust me, the water comes completely flat. Now you're probably wondering what the hell I'm talking about, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about and it's going to be pretty epic. So they all close down in sequence, and if you notice, the water is completely flat. Now, a lot of these piston bridges, once you activate it, you notice that you kind of get that water flow that kind of makes it obvious where the bridge is at. I mean, you can't really help it. But I kind of made a few modifications, and I designed it in such a way that once you close it, even at six blocks wide, it becomes completely flat with the water, and it's basically completely unnoticeable. Now what's cool about this, I actually made a hidden tunnel that actually goes right through the entire system. Look at that, that's awesome. Now what's cool about this is the fact that you could really have this connected to anything, a mine shaft, an escape route, whatever you want. But the, great, the great thing about this is the fact that it actually flows right through the entire system itself. So you don't have to make no extra passage, it goes right through it. Now also another cool feature is even though it's open or closed, it doesn't affect the tunnel. Which is a plus, because normally with stuff like that it kind of interferes with that. So check it out, we're gonna use a block of your choice, a half slab, a sticky piston, a button, a cauldron, just one, a few buckets of water, some redstone dust, a redstone block, redstone torch, a repeater, a comparator, and some torch for lighting, which that's kind of optional. Now at this point we're gonna start digging a hole that is 32 blocks, well 33 blocks long, 8 blocks wide, and seven blocks deep starting from the water level. Now feel free to pause at this point, this is very important. You must have this layout before we even start the project. Awesome, now that you've done it, let's get down, let's get down to it. Now I want you to dig, well, go about two blocks to the right. You're gonna place a block there, a block there, go about two blocks at the end, and one right there, and you should have this kind of layout. So there's two blocks in the middle of space and one block on the right. And you can extend that all the way to the end, but keep in mind, leave a two block space at the back as well. Now, you're gonna place some repeaters going inwards, one in that direction and one in this direction. And of course, you're gonna extend that to every block from one end to the other. And once you've done that, you should have this kind of layout. Now keep in mind, we're gonna keep doing this a few times, so Feel free to pause. Now you're gonna put some torches in the middle and rest on dust on the sides. And of course, you're gonna extend that from front to back. Perfect, should have this kind of layout at this point. Now place a block on that torch, just like so. Then you're gonna place a torch on the sides and top of each block. Perfect. Then you're gonna repeat this process to every single torch. Fantastic. Now you're going to place a block on the side torches. Let me show you what I mean. You're going to place a block right there, there as well, on top of that, and there as well. Then you're going to extend that from front to back. All right, two thumbs up. This is, we're almost done with this. I don't, <laughs> I know it's kind of repetitive, but don't worry. Now at this point, you're gonna place a sticky piston on top of that, on top of the torches and the blocks right across. Then of course, repeat that process all the way down to the end. All right, we're getting through this. Now take your block of your choice, whatever you wanna make the road of, and cover the sticky pistons. All right, so you should have this kind of layout at this point and uh, we're almost done. We got the major part done out of the way. 
Now at this point, we just gotta create the switch mechanism. Now we're gonna create a T flip flop at one point. Now count about 15 blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now 15 is a centerpiece, so we gotta delete those two blocks, go about two more, one more block down, delete that. Then you're gonna delete that as well on both sides. Delete that. Of course, you're gonna mess up that repeater. Delete that block, place a torch on top of that. Now repeat that. You're gonna mess up that piston, well, the repeater. Place a torch right there. Then because we gotta take one or two sides, it's not gonna be exactly even. So we're gonna delete that, place that there and place one right there. So you're gonna place one redstone dust there and two on one on the other side. Delete about two blocks deep, place a sticky piston right there, and you're gonna place the cauldron on top of it. And some water right inside, because that's gonna act as a filled item. Because once that goes up, the, repeat, the comparators go off. So we're gonna delete those two blocks, to you down parallel and create kind of a stairs pattern. Delete those two blocks, go uh, one more deep. Delete those as well. So you're gonna go three deep on both sides so you're parallel with the cauldron and place a repeater facing the cauldron. You're gonna delete that block behind it and place some sticky pistons. Place a block on top of it and some redstone dust in front of it. Now we gotta create this kind of stair pattern. Okay, delete that as well, because we don't want that block activating the rest on dust from the repeaters. Add some rest on the there, well, there as well, and repeat the same process on both sides. Delete that, extend it all the way to the back, delete that, then you're gonna place a repeater going forward and rest on dust in a straight line all the way down to you connect to the front. Perfect. Then, Place two blocks there in that fat in that fashion. Perfect. Now, we're gonna create the button mechanism. Reason for that is because once you have a redstone block on top of it, it controls the entire piston. Keep in mind, it's activating the T flip flop that we made. Now, what's cool about the T flip flop? It actually works on both ends, so it's like a dual T flip uh, T flip flop. God, I'm getting tongue tied with this. All right, so place a block there, a block right there, a dust on top of it, which should be our ground level, and then a block on top so you can extend that block on top of the ground level and a button in front of that to activate that redstone dust. Now underneath that block, we're gonna create, we're gonna put a sticky piston and the redstone block on top of it. So once you activate it, you're good to go. Now you notice that the middle section was missing. So we do have to fill that up, okay? It's all the way in the front, smack in the middle, because we did delete that block. Put a block there and a repeater right in front of it, and of course, gonna have to repeat that on the opposite side. Fantastic, place a block there, then a repeater going forward to reconnect that whole system. Now we're gonna repeat the same process on the opposite end. Of course, we're gonna place a repeater. So rest all done dust straight across. Now one side will be a little different than the other. You're gonna to have to place two blocks instead of one. Perfect, then of course, just stretch some rest on dust right across. Now we're gonna create the mechanism to switch. Now we have the piston right there and the block with the dust on top and so forth. All we have to do is just add some rest on block and you're good to go. And of course the button. Fantastic, now the whole system is working on both ends equally. Now at this point we gotta make it water airtight. So we're gonna place some blocks right there parallel to the close pistons. And extend that from one end to the other, of course, just like you see. All right, now over here, place a row of blocks, covering that up, and then one outwards on both ends. Then you're gonna repeat that same process on the opposite end. 
extend that forwards, then one block there, and then we're going to cover that rest on as well. Perfect. Now at this point, we're just adding the trimmings and we're kind of just kind of finalizing the whole entire design. So let's activate the bridge. Now in this little section here, you're going to place some water. That water is going to let us, well, it's going to create the effect to have all the water when the bridge is down to fully sync upright. Now let's delete these barrier that we made from the water on both ends. Add one block on both sides, well one block of water on both sides. To stop that kind of flow of water because we don't want that. We want this that when the bridge is closed that the water is in complete flat and sink. You won't even know there's a bridge there. Now cover that water up with a half slab. Because the half slabs are very easy to walk over and they really, they're pretty much as discreet as it gets. I mean, now you're going to repeat that. Well, let's take these blocks out the way. Da -da -da -da. Perfect. Now we're pretty much done. I mean, at this point, we're going to just cover up the side. That's about it. All right. Now we got the top part done. Now at this point, I want to focus on the interior. Now that hidden bridge I was talking about. Now we're going to place some blocks there as well. And because we don't want to interfere with any kind of rest zone, we put half slabs if you want to. And then kind of make the hole forward on where you want your entrance and exit to be. Now you just cover this up with some blocks of your choice. I'm using some oak wood planks. But trust me, you can use whatever you want. And the great thing is, it won't interfere with the rest zone or any of the mechanisms at all. Now you bring it from one end to the other and you have this hidden passage ready to be used for whatever you want. Mine shaft, uh, secret exit, I mean, sky's the limit. It's really whatever you want to make it. And the cool thing is, you extend this to whatever entrance you want to make it. The whole point is this, is that you have an entrance inside the mechanism. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you could please leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you.